Here's a related side story that sort of contributed to my inspiration for the article. It stems from a conversation that I had before preseason. Recently, I was fortunate enough to meet my best friend's baby girl. This is his first child. And so he and his wife live in Ohio, just off my route from Pennsylvania to Chicago. So it's sort of become a tradition to visit him and his wife every time I head out for preseason and every time I go home after season's over. But this year, it was a little bit different because they've added to their family. In addition to meeting her and then leaving with promises to spoil her on my way back to Pennsylvania after season, I left this trip with an idea. And it's something that I've been thinking about a lot lately. And I, I can't really shake it. Quote, it's amazing what we'll do for our kids to make sure that they are exposed to the best products and food but I can't say the same about ourselves." End quote. Hmm. There seems to be a lot of truth behind this and its application to the greater adult population. And truly, when it comes to our kids and the people we love the most, we'll do almost anything to make sure that they have the best opportunity to live the longest and most health-filled lives. But when it comes to ourselves and how we treat ourselves every single day, often I've found that that's where people will take shortcuts. Why is there such a disparity? In a way, shouldn't it be in the reverse? Because the better you treat yourself and the better you fuel yourself, the better you can be for the people you love most, for your kids, for your parents, your best friends, your significant other. The best that you are the better you can be for the people who need you most, right? So if it helps to think about it in this way, you're doing your people a favor by showing yourself more love, pursuing your favorite activities, the things that make you, you, and make you tick and make you happy, and fueling up with the best possible food that you have available to you within your budget and at your local grocery stores or co-ops or farms. Just some food for thought.